CAF Colonel Charlie Wood. Charlie Wood grew up in a military family that stressed core values like having servant leadership and putting service above self. These fundamental beliefs guided him throughout his life. As a child, Wood remembers hearing stories about his grandfather, Staff Sergeant Marvin Nelson, who served in World War II and died in 1951. His grandmother would bring out his grandfather's military footlocker full of his trinkets and photographs. Wood recalls how the old footlocker smelled and was transfixed as history spilled out before him. To Wood, heroes were not sports figures or movie stars. Heroes were the people who served their country. When Wood was about six years old, he saw a military airplane up close. He says he fell in love. He became fascinated with the aircraft, even hanging on the fence at the airport, admiring them from afar. He bought his first airplane, a Cessna 172, in 1977, right where the CAF National Air Base exists today at Dallas Executive Airport. His first flight in that aircraft was to Mercedes, Texas, to attend the CAF Air Show. He remembers the trip well. It rained so much that he had to land on the road miles away from the show. Always outgoing, Charlie stuck his thumb out and hitchhiked his way to the air show. For 20 years, Woods considered himself a CAF customer. Although not a member, he attended air shows and other events, which allowed him to meet his heroes, the World War II aces and aviators that made history defending America and fighting for freedom. He became an autograph collector and listened to the first-hand accounts of the war veterans directly from the people he read about in the history books. Charlie Wood became a CAF colonel, or as Charlie says, went into the CAF service in 1990. He quickly learned how much he could contribute to the organization as a member. In 2002, he joined the Dallas-Fort Worth Wing and, a few years later, became the unit's executive officer then wing leader. Under his leadership, Wood helped raise $80,000 to install two new engines on the wing's R4D ready for duty. He also assisted in putting an engine and oil cooler on the CAF's Corsair. Wood's ability to strike up a conversation with anyone, be an effective unit leader, and raise funds for aircraft projects prompted members to appoint Wood as intern unit leader of the B-29, B-24 squadron in 2010. Charlie is an aircraft sponsor of the R-4D, the PT-17, and the L-5, all currently assigned to the DFW wing. In 2017, Wood donated his aircraft, a T-41 Mescalero, to the CAF. The first CAF airplane he flew was a Stinson L-5 named Miss Ziggy. He spent many weekends on the ramp, showing off the airplane and putting kids in the cockpit. Years later, some of those kids would come back to thank him. On one occasion, a young man approached Wood and cheerfully announced that because he got to experience aviation as a kid, he became an F-18 pilot. One of Wood's other remarkable contributions is that he is an extraordinary membership recruiter. He started by recruiting his wife, Shirley, in 2005. Since then, Wood has recruited over 147 members. Charlie freely shares his secret to being a good recruiter. He says all you need to do is be friendly, set an example, and create a pathway for people. Charlie Wood became a life member in 2008 and was among the first to join the Henry B. Tibby National Aviation Education Center. After spending time in leadership positions on the unit level, Woods was approached to run for election on the general staff. He served on that board from 2010 to 2015. He also served on the American Air Power Heritage Museum Board, the American Air Power Heritage Foundation Board, the Finance Committee, and the Membership Committee. His work towards furthering the mission of the CAF earned him a letter of commendation, an Agatha Recruiting Award, the Distinguished Service Award, and is a two-time recipient of the Award of the Silver Magnolia Blossom. Charlie Wood has demonstrated the true spirit in which this organization was founded. By joining the CAF and serving the mission, you become part of a fellowship of people who strive to honor the real heroes of America and learn that service above self 
comes with extraordinary rewards.